We decided where we wanted to go on the honeymoon based on the time of year that we were getting married and going away. We got married in August and we were going on honeymoon at the end of August, start of September. And so we did a bit of research around where we'd be good to go then. Uh, we decided on Bora Bora as an area and then I googled a search engine, googled tour operators in Bora Bora and then came across Turquoise and yeah, took it from there. When you approach Turquoise, the, the first contact, we will really, really dig deeper than most other honeymoon providers. We take more time and spend more time getting to know you and getting to know what makes you tick and what is going to be the perfect honeymoon for you. We realised that we actually couldn't afford Bora Bora for the full length of time so we got some great advice from Turquoise and we ended up doing a week in Morea and a week in Bora Bora. We did more day trips when we were on Morea um, because Morea is an island, so it's a bit more sporty, that kind of thing. So we did some more day trips then, and then Bora Bora, we literally did nothing. We wanted somewhere where it was going to be doing absolutely nothing for two weeks, and probably somewhere we'd never ever go back to again. You know, I think the, the, the pack that we got ahead of the honeymoon would su suggested exactly what was happening on every day. We had the five nights, uh, five days and nights sorted out for Morea, uh, and then the uh, transfers to Bora Bora, and it was kind of very clear as to as to what we were going to be doing from, from each step of the step of the way, really. When you receive your documents through in the post, it's not something that's been spat out by a computer. I have put them together by hand, uh, and I have walked to the post office and put them in the post for you. It is very much the most personalised service you could get. I think dealing with turquoise overall was just really easy, and I just found the service from uh, turquoise to be just a lot more, it felt like they actually cared about our honeymoon and how we were going to enjoy these amazingly, actually amazingly expensive because honeymoon is the most expensive holiday of your time, but they very much took that into account and were, you know, made sure that we just had the absolute best time that we could. I think for me, just having somebody that I could speak to and explain any issues that we had ahead of time. So for example, wanting to go to Bora Bora for the full two weeks, but not really being able to afford that. So having someone that was able to talk us around, okay, so that is the, the want. However, if that's not quite a reality, what's the next best opportunity? And what does that look like? And in fact, that might end up being an even better opportunity for you stress of the wedding is so uh, immense yeah. that I think to put the stress on yourself for a honeymoon um, would, 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 would certainly not be something I'd advise. I think giving someone else that task of creating something for you is, is really important. You can appreciate once you get there it's just about spending time with each other and relaxing. We'll be there every step of the way. We have a 24-hour helpline. There's always someone at the other end of the phone. But things can go wrong when you travel. You know, it's just a reality of the world. Flight delays, cancellations, everything, and just knowing you've got a human to fall back on rather than just a website, that's uh, an amazing thing to have. I did send the chap who helped us a personalised message of thanks because, you know, it really was out-of-the-box service. And to anybody thinking about planning a honeymoon with turquoise, go for it. They're absolutely great. They'll look after you and you'll have the holiday of your dreams. <laughs>